My name is Kelsey Rowling. I'm a painter full time right now. I do a lot of work that focuses on like intersectional feminism because of lack of representation. Basically just like figurative works of women of color I would describe my work as with varying influences depending on what's going on in my life. Kelsey's a portrait artist, so when we approach portraiture, that third wall is completely broken. So we get to stare at the subject, spend time with the subject, which is the really impactful thing about portraiture work and the ability that Kelsey is able to have on her audience. It's just like this profound sense of like, who is the subject? How can I get to know them? How can I do a little more research to understand them, especially in regards to the pop cultural references and there are history references that she has throughout her work. I get a lot of my ideas from looking at a bunch of things. I'm really fascinated by like how saturated our visual world is. So I like look a lot at social media things like Instagram and like see cool photos or paintings. So it starts with getting reference images. I use kind of mixed media. I paint with a lot of acrylic paint as base layers and then I use oil paints to do my figures mainly. So I can get like really good detail on them. I'll pick just like a solid color that I think is like really beautiful and just kind of base the whole painting energetically around that. And that's where I like start with the acrylics and then I'll do a rough sketch of the figure and then I'll paint it in with oils from there. A lot of what makes something look real is focusing on things that you wouldn't want to include on a face almost if you're drawing it. I remember when I was younger, I would draw things and I wouldn't include certain shadows or certain blemishes or certain marks under the eyes that like really make something look realistic. So I try to just focus on little highlights and different colors and shading because there's just so much variation that goes into a face and like skin tones. I look at a lot of references, but like painting it as it's seen and not how your brain wants to see it. I think that's made me like expand my idea of beauty in a lot of ways too, which was nice. I'm just more accepting of a lot of different things because it's all just looks so beautiful to me. The type of response that we typically get from Kelsey's work comes from an audience that's more connected with social media. So we get a little bit of mostly consisting of young people just really vibing her work, really into the subject matter she's pursuing. I know my art isn't necessarily geared towards a younger audience, but I think having people who look like me or can relate to me and like see me as like an artist who's just painting people that look something like them would be really nice because like that's what I wanted when I was younger so I like hope to kind of have that for people who need that as well like regardless of how old they are. I grew up in like a different time than it is now. We all grew up in a time where there wasn't really a lot of places where you'd see black people or brown people and things. That really influenced me a lot as a kid because I know like a lot of other people of color can relate to like wanting to look different or act different. Growing up it's hard when you're just like where am I in these places? I got to a point where I was like, I can just paint my representation that I want. It kind of serves as filling gaps in places where I think they need to be filled. People gain an understanding and can relate to people if they like see them. If you grew up with a bunch of people who looked really different, you don't think that's weird. If you grow up in like Reno and there's not a lot of brown people, like you don't really know how to like interact with them sometimes. And like I experienced that growing up as just people being like confused by my hair, or confused about my parents because they're like a biracial couple. So they didn't know, they didn't understand. More exposure to different types of people just creates more tolerance in a way or accepting in a way or just normalization at least. I want people to stop for a moment. I want it to have enough detail, enough confusion in it that people like take a moment to look at it. I'm intrigued by like personal understanding of it because I think everybody responds to everything differently given their background and given their opinions on art. I would like them to just like question like where we see people and like how we see them and like how we interact with them and like recognize beauty in different forms and different ways.